In this video, we're going to talk about adjacent and vertically opposite angles. I'm going to start by explaining the word adjacent, this word here. Adjacent means next to, or it can mean adjoining. In the diagram below, we have two adjacent angles. I'm going to highlight them for you. We have angle XOY, which is next to or adjoining angle YOZ. We say angle XOY is adjacent to angle YOZ. In the diagram at right, we have what are called complementary angles. You'll notice that once again, we have two adjacent angles. We've got angle AOB, and we also have angle BOC. These two angles are not just adjacent to each other, but we also say they are complementary. I'm going to write that down. Angle AOB and angle BOC are complementary. I'm going to talk about what that means. You might notice, once I rub out the markings, that we have a right angle in the corner. And a right angle is representative of a 90 degree angle, which means that angle AOB and angle BOC must add up to 90 degrees. That is what complementary means. Complementary means angles that add up to 90 degrees. You'll notice that we have an angle AOB here marked with a little dot. That angle there must be 30 degrees since the two angles add up to 90 degrees. So we'll write down below that angle AOB must equal 30 degrees. We will now move on to what are called supplementary angles by looking at the diagram on the left. Once again, we have two adjacent angles, angle SOT and angle TOU. These angles are supplementary. We'll write that down. Angle SOT and angle TOU are supplementary. So what does supplementary mean? Well, if we look at the line SU, and I'm just going to highlight it now, you'll notice that it's very straight. And in an earlier lesson, we learned that if you have what is called a straight angle, that it will have an angle of 180 degrees. So supplementary angles add up to 180 degrees. So if we look at the angle TOU, which is the angle with the dot that I'm pointing to there, that would have to be 50 degrees because 130 plus 50 is 180. We'll write down that angle TOU must equal 50 degrees. Looking at the diagram on the right, once again we have two angles. We have a smaller angle of 100 degrees and then a larger angle on the outside. This is called a reflex angle. Some of you might have noticed that we make a full circle. Angles in a revolution add up to 360 degrees, since there are 360 degrees in a full circle, meaning that my larger angle must be 260 degrees, so that they add up to 360 degrees. When we name these angles, we can say that angle FOG, which is the one I marked in orange, is 100 degrees, 
When I want to label the pink angle, you'll also notice that it's called angle FOG, except this one is 260 degrees. So how do you distinguish between the two of them? Well, when we talk about the larger angle, since it's called a reflex angle, we write reflex at the beginning. So reflex angle FOG is 260 degrees. Next, we're going to look at vertically opposite angles. And what you'll notice is that you have two lines, in this case line JM, and the second line LK or KL. And these two lines intersect at a point. When you get vertically opposite angles, the angles will be equal. So you'll notice the angle at the top is 70 degrees. The angle opposite that, down below, is also 70 degrees. We say that vertically opposite angles are equal. So in this particular case, angle LOM, which is the angle I marked below, must equal 70 degrees. Not only are the angles above and below equal to each other, but if we look at the angles on the sides, the angle JOL and the angle KOM that I've marked there, they are also equal to each other. They would both be 110 degrees each. That concludes our video on adjacent and vertically opposite angles. Remember, in the description below, you will find worksheets with questions related to this video.